Well, it turns out the Montreal Canadiens did go out there and find themselves their Brandon Gignac replacement, as they have claimed forward Colin White from the Pittsburgh Penguins earlier this morning. In fact, this directly is the Brandon Gignac replacement, because later in the day, the Habs put Gignac on waivers. So, hey, Colin White is in, and then Gignac is out, or at least... We'll know if he's out tomorrow by the time he either clears and goes to Laval or if he gets claimed by some other team. But Colin White is the prize here, and you could very well say that he may not necessarily be considered a prize, quote-unquote, because of his entire progress so far. Colin White is, as we had said, a former Pittsburgh Penguin, now Montreal Canadian, 27 years old from Boston, Massachusetts, 6'1", 194 right-handed center right-wing player, who was initially a 21st overall pick by the Ottawa Senators in 2015. Back when he was taken in this draft, he was a point-per-game guy with the US NTTP, he was doing some really good things in the NCAA scene, plus the World Under-18s and the World Juniors, he was a very good player. But, during his time with the Ottawa Senators, he only maxed out as a 41-point guy in 71 games. Now, to be fair, that's not bad in the slightest. If you do the math on this, I mean, he was 22 years old, he was at a 40-point pace year, and eventually he got signed to one of the craziest contracts we have seen out of a guy in this situation here. He got signed to a $4.75 million AAV extension, which took him from 2019-20 all the way until 2024-2025. This contract was bought out. Which is why you take a look at the Colin White situation and everything that happened afterwards. He then went over to the Florida Panthers, had 15 points in 68 games. This season with the Pittsburgh Penguins, he had 0 points in 11 games played. And it's kind of strange, but when you consider where Colin White was with his entire progression in Ottawa, this became a pretty notorious name quickly, especially when you talk about the status of that contract. I mean, this is it, man. Bought out on July 5th, 2022, so just a few years after it was signed, he only got three years in. But the next half of the contract was voided because the Sens just did not feel that a $4.75 million AAV salary was worth it for this guy. But of course now, he is going to be in Pittsburgh, or excuse me, in Montreal after being a part of Pittsburgh where he had zero points. And this is kind of the thing that you have to think about because tweets like these have started to pop up. Sometimes I feel bad for Colin White that it just hasn't worked out. And then I remember his $34 million in NHL career earnings and I stopped feeling bad. There also was a conversation popped up on the Ottawa Senators sub about this entire thing, so Canadians fans, pay attention right here. I still think that when we gave Colin White that contract, it was the correct move. When we handed that contract out, we had just gone full scorched earth on our roster. Carlson gone, Stone gone, Duchesne gone. Ryan was a shell of his former self and wasn't a core player anymore. Peugeot was about to go. The owner was a maniac. It was absolutely toxic in Ottawa, and there was a lot of worry about team finances and ability and willingness to ever land star players, especially after how the Eric Carlson situation played itself out. That Colin White contract was the first big money commitment after jettisoning a small country's GDP out the door over the past year. We needed to make a statement signing that started to rebuild trust, show younger guys that we weren't going to be a poverty franchise forever. We got White on board, a first round pick, and after a very good 41 point year, and I honestly believe having White done first was a huge reason we got Shabbat on board next. With White and Shabbat getting big money, I think it relaxed a lot of tension and made it easier for other younger players to buy in. I think all that momentum started with White's deal, and in that context, I'd do it over again in a heartbeat, because without White buying in, there's a chance others don't buy in either. That said, White, my dude, what happened? The guy was poised to be an elite third-line shutdown center who could put up 20-20 each season and play with bite. Then he got that hip injury in 2019 and has never looked like the same player since. Then he had that shoulder injury in 2021, and he's looked washed ever since. I kind of wonder if White's career has truly been an issue of injury management, obviously no idea if it has or not, if taking a year off and getting some surgeries done would help him be able to make a comeback as an NHL regular. 
And then there is an analysis done on White's ability. His IQ was never high enough to make up for his lack of offensive talent. He was skilled enough to be a 3C, but when you can't think the game very well and can't fall back on an impressive skill set, I guess it's easy to fizzle out. I also have no idea what his injury history is, though, so that's all conjecture. He was given great opportunities to play with some solid players like Mark Stone and Bobby Ryan, and was good enough to keep up, but never good enough to really take that next step. Interesting point, though, I never thought about the value of giving him that contract for overall team mentals. So at the end of the day, Colin White is a very interesting project and a player who definitely has his history. I'm not saying that the Montreal Canadiens are going to go out there and revive his career, but when it comes to Marty St. Louis, I think Grav goes out there in the top reply and says, yeah, this is Marty St. Louis' ultimate challenge. This is probably the guy that has fallen down the most out of all the players that St. Louis has had and coached up to superstardom, you could say. And so for Colin White, I mean, does that 40-point season still exist? Is he still capable of doing something like that? That was five years ago. He's gone through a bunch of surgeries. He's gotten hurt a bunch too. And now he's going to be playing on what is going to be his fourth team in the span of about two years. So is this really the opportunity that a guy like Colin White needs to make himself known in the NHL again? Montreal Canadiens GM Kent Hughes seems to think so. He seems to think that White is better than Gignac, and you could very well say that that is a fair assumption to make, considering Gignac has mostly been an AHL guy his entire career, and while he's been good in the AHL and he scored in the NHL once too, this is, at the end of the day, a Laval Rocket player. He's very valuable in that role. And so, for Gignac, it was a good run, hopefully he clears waivers and he's still within the Montreal Canadiens organization because, I mean, look, as a more veteran guy, it's good to have these kinds of players available to you in the AHL. So, hopefully Gignac is going to be able to clear. For Colin White, though, this is going to be really interesting to see him take that spot. Hopefully, it's more of a transitory role, like hopefully they don't really thrust him into the top of the lineup right away, unless Marty St. Louis feels that that's appropriate. I mean, if you go over to the Canadians and their lines, I mean, Gignac was in the third line spot for a while. He was second line center before Newhook came back. But actually, no, excuse me, he's in the fourth line spot now. So Jake Evans was on top of him in that lineup. So we'll see if Colin White is able to slot in somewhere here. I'm kind of questioning what they'd do if they just placed him on the fourth line with Tanner Pearson and Jesse Alonen. I think it would probably make sense to give him a better opportunity just to see if he fits, right? Just see if there's any chemistry elsewhere to be developed with some of these other Canadians forwards. But either way, this is a former first-round pick. If you want to talk about the Kirby Docs, the New Hooks, all of the first-round talents that have come over to Montreal over the past few years, Colin White is added onto that, except he is a little bit older at 2015 in his draft season rather than 2019, like the other two guys. So if you're a fan of the Montreal Canadiens, if you're a fan of the Pittsburgh Penguins, if you're a fan of the Ottawa Senators, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Colin White getting claimed by the Montreal Canadiens and how this is going to affect their team. Ottawa fans, I want to hear the scoop on White from your perspective. Pittsburgh Penguins fans, what did you see out of White this season? I'm going to go out there and guess probably not a lot, but if there is any analysis you'd be kind enough to offer, then hey, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Colin White is now a Montreal Canadian. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this. And bye.